everybody. So today I'm going to show you what a typical workday looks like while I'm traveling. I'm so excited to show you my trip in Tahiti. It was absolutely beautiful and I can't believe I get to do this for work. And if you're wondering what I do for work, on this trip I was mainly shooting personal content for my Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. However, I did have a brand deal that I was shooting as well. So you're going to see how the business worked and also just how it is to have fun. I remember when I was like 9, 10 years old wanting to be a YouTuber so bad and now that I'm 22, I can't believe I'm pursuing it full time. So I can't wait to show you guys this video and let's start with the day. Good morning vlog. So today is Saturday and I'm going to take you guys along my little chill day in Bora Bora. I'm going to show you guys like the funny shit we do when we were at breakfast because we tried to eat as much food so we don't have to buy lunch because it's too expensive here. And I'm trying to save money so I can pay my taxes. So let's go. So at breakfast, you get a complimentary juice. I'm pretty sure. If this is not, then we're fucked. We are doing the thing we do to save money. Step one, take a napkin. Two, take the thing you're trying to save for later. Houdini, it's gone. And you just put it in your bag. The same thing with yogurt and granola. All right, so I'm interrupting this video to talk about the sponsor of today's video. Thank you to Betty for sponsoring this video. So as a YouTuber, I rather spend my time doing more of what I love to do, which is making content, not sitting on my bum figuring out how to grow my channel. That's why TubeBuddy comes in handy. TubeBuddy offers analytic and video optimization tools for content creators. So if one of your goals is to make more money next year and travel, you can do that by using TubeBuddy to optimize your views and get more sponsorship and ad revenue. One of my favorite tools is the thumbnail analyzer tool. You can test different thumbnails and use AI to see what people will click on more. In the past, I used to manually change my thumbnails every few minutes and now I don't have to. Another tool I love using is their keyword research tool. I've been using this for like six years to find out what's the best keywords SEO so people search my videos and they comes up first. This is like an OG tool you got to have as a YouTuber. You guys can use my code all 40 for 40% off for the whole year. That is a steal. Go get it now. It's a Black Friday special. It ends on the 29th. All right back to the video. So it's currently 11 a.m. We just finished breakfast and I really want to go to the gym because I'm feeling a little bit anxious Going to gym just helps my anxiety because I have it like every day. It's really hot outside and I already wore these gym clothes already, but I don't have anything else. So I'm just going to wear this. If you guys haven't seen already, make sure you check out my overwatered bungalow tour of this place because this bathroom is really sick. So make sure you watch that. I'll link it somewhere here. All right. So this is what I'm wearing. I want to show you guys what I bring to the gym. First, I'm going to take a shot of espresso because I need energy. I don't have anything. It's just like pure espresso. So it's going to taste really bad. Oh! Next, I like to bring a few things. My inhaler, this phone stand, because I'm trying to film two TikToks today, which is part of like my to-do list. This is like a really dope iPhone stand. If you're everywhere traveling and you need to like have a tripod and not have it too like obnoxious, this is the best tripod. It gets, goes down to like basically nothing. So I really love this and I'm gonna bring that to the gym. Let's go to the gym and shoot some content. If you guys are wondering what I do for work work, <laughs> most of my work is just getting brand deals done. If, and if not that, creating content. So once a week I do a YouTube video, three times a week I'll post on TikTok and three times a week I'll post on Instagram. So that's kind of what I'm up to. And then occasionally I'll have consulting jobs that relate to social media work. But other than that, I've been pretty chill this year. It's taken me a long time to get to a place where I feel like I don't need to grind my eyes out and enjoy life. So yeah, I'm really grateful. I feel so much better after my workout. You guys are curious. I usually work out every day, either surfing and training or both. Today, my workout was Bulgarian split squat jump. I did some leg press and I did kettlebell swings. And then I did some rehab on my shoulder because I injured it like a few months ago. So I just did some like Y's and T's and some push-ups. But but other than that, kept it pretty chill. I feel so much better though. Like I think sometimes with my anxiety, it's cause like I don't work through problems <laughs> and it just sits in my brain. But when I'm working out, I have nothing to do but like really sit with the pain and it's just really relieving. So even if you can't work out, just walk cause it's gonna really help your mental state. And I really do believe that. So I think now that the hard part's over, I'm gonna go relax at the pool. Hi. Can I order a coconut? All right, so I just took a nap and journaled a little bit because my anxiety was coming back and I I can't talk about it on this video, but maybe later I will, but I do feel better. I wanted to jump here and explain what was going on. So it's really awesome that these trips are super glamorous, but the truth is it's far from perfect because I struggle with anxiety regardless of where I'm at. And right now it's mainly between relationships and the uncertainty of my future. And I just wanted to come on here and normalize it. So we all feel a little bit hurt. I think my biggest advice when it comes to people who want to become full-time content creators is 
A, get a therapist or find a really strong circle of people you can talk to about your problems. And B, do it because you love it. Because there are going to be days where you're just so upset at your progress and you have to come down to, do I love this? Is it worth all the stress? And if it is, you got to keep going. And that's kind of where I'm at. So just wanted to share that for you guys and hope this helps you in your journey. All right, so I just painted with Claire for a little bit. It was really nice and soothing. And now going to work a little bit. I have this video that I'm supposed to make and I went diving yesterday with sharks and stingrays. So we're gonna edit this video together. I'm gonna show you guys like my process just because maybe you guys are curious how it works to create content for a brand. So the first thing I like to do is go through the footage. You can see here all the content and I'm just gonna watch through it. And the ones that I like, I'll just export out. And what's really cool is on the phone because it's 360, you can kind of see all angles of the shot. So that's really cool. So I'm gonna go and go through all the footage and then put it back in my computer. Also, I just wanna pop here and explain where my brand deals come from because I get that question a lot. So 80% of my brand deals are inbound, which basically means brands find me organically through my content, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok. However, 20% are outbound. So I either reach out to them or I even ask my friend to introduce me to a brand. It's basically me pursuing the brand versus them coming to me. So it doesn't happen often, honestly, where I ask a brand to pay me and they do. I'm just putting that out there. I think most of the time, organic is the best way. And if you guys are trying to pursue a career in social media, really focus on your content, your keywords, how you come up online, because that will get you farther than pursuing brand deals and asking for, for deals, if that makes sense. So I hope that was helpful and just wanted to give that tip. So I just got all the shots up lined up. So there's like a beginning shot and the four shots with the camera. And I just added some music and now I'm adding text. So these are like more of my simple edits. A lot of the content I do make for ads are scripted and edited heavily. Not like that, but like in a way of like, I put a lot of effort in, but this video specifically, they wanted like a chill Instagram edit. So I delivered, but I honestly, the thing is like with me, I'm really not happy unless the video is like perfect. And I feel like this video is like 90% there. So I'm actually thinking not to submit it to the brand yet and film more when I'm in the next island. I'm just gonna use this as backup, but I kind of like am a perfectionist with this kind of stuff and I feel like most people are, but I'll show you the video, but you guys can let me know your thoughts. So right now it is 7 p.m. We're getting ready for dinner, which we're leaving to in 30 minutes. Me and Claire, in the meantime, we're just floating around in the ocean and taking photos. But we're gonna get ready. I was just doing my makeup with you guys because I know I'm gonna try to be a beauty guru. I'm currently on the step of highlighter. I'm gonna put it down the nose and on the ball of it as well. Or <laughs> why not put some more on? Wow, this is actually really good. So for dinner tonight, it's like the nicest restaurant at the resort, right? Yeah. How expensive do you think it's gonna be? I, I think it's gonna be the same price. I'm scared. I'm scared! Today, literally, I'm telling you guys, like it's so scary this at uh, this place because you can't tell what's free or what's not. The other day, we got these free chips and guac with our drink and they gave us two orders of it. So two servings of chips and guac. Today, we asked for chips and guacs and they charged us $8. The other day, I ordered a cappuccino thinking it was free. It's not, only iced coffee's free. Of course, people that go here don't worry about that, so. So Claire, what do you think about the resort? Would you come back? <laughs> if I could afford it. Yeah, I feel like if it was like a fourth of the cost, sure. I don't understand how people go here like on as a regular. I just wanna know what they do. They, like when we arrived here, they were saying that people come here for a month to two months at a time. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so now I'm doing my eyeliner. I'm not really gonna do that much. I'm just gonna blend it with my finger, just so it's smoky. And it looks like messy, almost like a black eye. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna give myself a black eye on the other side. I'll see you with my final look. We cleaned up pretty good, nice. Very nice, very nice. Very good, very nice. Wow, this one? Awesome. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Oh my God. Wow, Did we so just cool. arrived today? No, we arrived no. three days ago. This is crazy, you guys can't see, but there's like the whole mountain over there. And apparently we can see stingrays and sharks here. I'm like shook right now. Claire, this is way too romantic for us. <laughs> the floor is see-through, and you can see the fish. Whoa, it smells so good. Guys, Claire's about to die out of exhaustion. This is our last dessert. It's a Tahitian vanilla ice cream. What the fuck? Mm. Mm. 
guys we just got a gift so we just came back from dinner and they gave us the cutest gifts a passport and holder tag. and a oh, bag like tag like these are really nice i actually needed a passport holder so cute <laughs> okay wait, wait no, that <laughs> we just got a letter with the package saying how much everything Wait, will cost. Basically, I told you guys, I warned you that this place, we don't know what things cost, and now we're getting the bill. Let's Wait, just that makes say zero cents. Wait, so the bow transfer costs money? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me let's calculate this. So we just did the math because we're a little slow. The total cost for everything is a thousand dollars, but it's five hundred dollars each. So thank you, Bora Bora. I will take the luggage tags and remember the price we paid. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. I don't know if you guys like these work trip behind the scenes kind of videos. This week was specifically really chill, so you had fun. And let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. I know a lot of people ask me how I make money to go on these trips. And to be very honest, as you guys can tell, I'm very finessey when it comes to trips. Like I try to be as cheap and affordable as possible, but still bougie. So let me know if you guys want a video on how I travel for cheap, but still bougie. Also, thank you TubeBuddy for sponsoring this video. I've been using them for like six, seven years, ever since I really started to get serious on YouTube. So, means the world. All right, love you. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.